What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be tackling blocky and blurry uploads to YouTube instead of just talking about blocky and blurry recordings, which I covered in a previous video of mine that was received very well. This just told you to essentially up your bitrate while you're recording and maybe change some of your settings in OBS or whatever recording software you're using. This video in particular is going to tackle why your uploads are blurry when they reach YouTube. It's for a very few simple reasons, and they all really come down to the fact that Google and YouTube take in thousands of millions of hours of video every day, every month, and they have to compress it as much as possible to take up as little space as possible because drive space is somewhat expensive, especially when you're talking about terabytes and petabytes. That's really what this all comes down to, compression. I'll go ahead and put something on the screen now, such as say gameplay, and as you may see, whenever things are happening and there's lots of action, things get rather blocky, especially when there's lots of fine details such as trees and leaves and things like that. This video will definitely reach diminishing returns at some point, but I'll try and keep it as simple as possible. There are a few reasons that your videos are blocky when they're reaching YouTube. Either they are uploaded in lower resolutions, as in you can only crank it up to say 480p and watching it on a 1080p display, everything seems blocky simply because there aren't enough pixels in the video to cover the screen and they have to be upscaled to reach it. The second reason is simply put bitrate. When you save your video to take up the least possible space, it'll end up compressing and losing a ton of detail and it'll result in artifacts, weird blocky glitchy effects that you'll see on your screen, especially around fine detail. The higher your bitrate, the fewer of these artifacts you'll be seeing, but of course, the file size of your video will dramatically increase. This is where a lot of creators will reach some kind of an issue where they need to decide whether they have the internet bandwidth and time to upload huge files or of course make some kind of compromises in quality. Bitrate, the higher it is, the better quality your video will be, especially for that resolution. Though, if you're recording in 360p and you have 200 megabits a second of bitrate, you're definitely way over killing it. Linked in the description down below, you'll find recommended upload and encoding settings. As you can see, they suggest using H.264. While they do accept some other kinds of video codecs, they can be compressed heavier or of course can take up much more space, resulting in a lot of delay before you actually get different qualities on your video. The frame rate can be pretty much anything as long as it's not really above 60. The bitrate is what we're talking about here in particular. They have two separate blocks in these tables, one for a lower frame rate video and one for a higher frame rate video for both SDR and HDR uploads. More than likely, you'll be focusing on SDR if you don't know what HDR is or you know you don't record in HDR. More than likely, you'll be recording somewhere in this range, 1080p to 4K. When you upload to YouTube, these are the recommended bitrates. However, 1080p at 8 megabits a second for 30 FPS or 12 megabits a second for 60 FPS may not always result in the cleanest upload when it actually gets to your viewers on YouTube. It may look clean on your PC, but when you end up uploading it to YouTube, they go ahead and compress it down to whatever standards they have. And when they serve it to viewers, it may have a lot less quality and a ton more artifacts, depending on how heavily they compress your particular video. Simply put, the more things that happen in your video, and the more action there is, the more bitrate you need to maintain good quality. This is where their recommendations sort of fall apart. I would completely agree with these settings over here. If you're recording things with not a lot of movement, or say you're recording a talking head video where you're talking into a camera and there's basically nothing happening in the background. In these cases, these settings are perfectly fine. But for gameplay and fast moving content, this is where things especially fall apart. Simply just doubling the bitrate for say 20 megabits a second for 1080p, 48 for 2K, and say 100 to 120 ish for 4K, you'll start to see that you get a lot of that quality back just by simply uploading at a higher bitrate. Yes, your files will double in size and they'll double in the time that it takes to upload them to YouTube, but when they actually reach your viewers' eyes after being compressed, things just look a lot better counterintuitively. If you look at how much data your browser uses, you'll also notice that it uses a lot more when you upload videos in this fashion. They still get compressed, though they probably get compressed to some sort of percentage of the original quality of video rather than a target bitrate or file size. I may be completely wrong, but I have definitely seen that uploading with higher bitrates, you usually get better quality, especially with 
tons of motion in your videos. This is something you'll have to experiment with to find out what suits your content the best. That being said, I often find that uploading videos in VBR compared to CBR leads to huge losses in quality. I'm not too sure what may be causing it, but I'll get there in just a moment. VBR and CBR are variable bitrate and constant bitrate. Essentially, constant bitrate, you set it to 20 megabits a second, and if absolutely nothing is happening on your scene, the video will take 20 megabits a second, as if there was tons of things happening. VBR, however, you set a target of, say, 5 megabits a second, and a maximum of, say, 30. That way, when nothing is happening, it doesn't use a lot of data. And when tons of things are happening, it takes a lot of data. That is what YouTube compresses your video down to being, as it often ends up saving a ton of space simply because you're not wasting data on absolutely nothing. That is a very basic explanation of it, however. I'm definitely stepping over a lot. You can try and experiment to see whether uploading in variable bitrate or constant bitrate helps or hinders your content when you actually watch it from the viewer's eye. While this is a rather strange suggestion, I definitely have seen that it makes a difference. My theory is that if you upload in a VBR, they'll take the average bitrate, which could be a lot lower than the required maximum for when lots of things are going on, especially if you're sitting around for a long time and you all of a sudden decide to ski down a mountain and tons of things are happening and your video just ends up being super blocky. The final tip that I have to share with you that is much more of a trick and wouldn't usually have too much of an effect when you're looking at video files, and that's to simply render your video at a higher resolution where possible. What does this mean? Well, you record your video in 720p, you render it out of Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Windows Movie Maker, whatever you're using in 1080p. So you went from 720 to 1080, and you'll artificially raise the quality without actually adding anything to it upload in a higher resolution. I record my videos 2K and I upload it 2K simply because I don't really need to do this anymore. 2K seems like a good place on YouTube. However, previously when I recorded my gameplay at 1080p and uploaded to my old channel, no matter how high I pushed the bitrate, it was always compressed down and always ended up being blocky, especially in battlefield games where I'm walking around in a jungle with tons of leaves and things like that. Simply recording at 1080p and rendering my video in 2K or 4K even, which is a bit overkill, you don't need to jump too far, you'll definitely see a huge increase in video quality on YouTube. While some viewers with a keen eye may say, hey, this video doesn't really look 4K, why does it look more like 720? Obviously, you shouldn't push it that far, but some people with a keen eye may notice a slight trickery like this. So do keep that in mind. You don't want to take this too far. Of course, on top of this, taking that to the extreme, there is the possibility of using an AI artificial intelligence upscaler to upscale your content and actually physically add more pixels to it than they were in the original recording. Though again, that's definitely overkill. This video has stayed pretty well within scope, though I did go on a couple of tangents. Hopefully you actually gain something from this rather long rambly video, but it does contain some super useful tips that are YouTube specific to getting higher quality video with very little effort. One, bitrate, two, resolution, and three, format. You don't really want to go too far away from normal H.264 video. That's pretty much the standard, and until that changes, that's what you should upload to YouTube in, even though they do accept other formats. That being said, don't go overkill with this video. I have had a couple of useful tips, though don't go completely crazy with it. Do your own testing and see what works for you and see where you reach a point of diminishing returns. Of course, recording a video in 10 megabits a second and uploading it in 200 is absolutely crazy. You're not gonna squeeze out any more quality because your original video was probably blocky to begin with. If you'd like to optimize recording your own video, and make the actual video file itself not look blocky, in the description down below you'll find the aforementioned OBS Fix Blurry Blocky Recordings video that'll help you out a ton with that, especially if you use OBS to record. If you use something else to record, such as a physical camera, it may still have some tips for you, such as increasing bitrate and things like that. Anyways, that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!